Hello, hello, what's up everyone? Welcome to this quick video about keyword research overview and I will be just going over a few kind of keyword research uh, ideas and how the search engine marketers conduct the keyword research and how they basically start. Okay, uh, this keyword research uh, is applicable for both your website or your videos if in some cases as well for for social media accounts such as Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest right and if you really really want to um, ma make this uh, work for yourself you have to be sure already before you, you have to kind of have a already kind of a goal in your mind before you start doing the keyword research right what I mean by that you have to know what kind of business or niche you want to be in and um, you should be already kind of uh, on the on the track of, of making a website or uh, basically maybe you just do the keyword research to purchase the right domain that's another case right maybe you don't have a domain yet and you want to do the keyword research to purchase the right domain with the right keywords in it but still you need to know what kind of niche you want to be in okay doesn't matter if you are uh, just starting with uh, internet marketing or if you are advanced this is what you need to know so every time uh, i do uh, i start some new project or i get uh, some cl new client and working on their business every single time i do the keyword research and try to find out the most valuable keywords as well as the easiest to run for keywords right so there are always two different uh, two different basically buckets if you will in one bucket with a uh, easy to reach keywords right like low hanging fruit someone says uh, and the second bucket with the highly valuable keywords right those won't be that easy to rank for uh, they will have some higher search, higher search volumes. They will have maybe some higher values, such as like a buyer intent keywords, right? They are always much more competitive these keywords because uh, there is uh, tons of tons of marketers uh, trying to rank for those keywords. We, it's very very rare that you basically uh, find or. Uh, came, come across a very new highly profitable keyword where is no competition right because as the saying goes where is no competition there is no market right so uh, let's move on then I'm gonna just uh, ditch this slide and go over a few examples how to do the keyword research for the certain products or services so first you need to sign up uh, for your Google AdWords account to get the access to their keyword planner tool. It used to be free and like open access, but now they, they made it more kind of a little bit restricted and not for everyone. You basically have to sign up for the AdWords account. And I believe you maybe even have to link your credit card. You don't have to pay anything. But your uh, your credit or debit card must be linked with that account, right? Now, their main purpose doing this is to is to obviously to uh, lure in and attract more advertisers to so they so people who advertise with Google, right? But anyway, here as you see, uh, I already did some uh, search for the keyword with four different words in it, which, which could be considered as long tail keyword. And it's very specific keyword of the uh, specific product that I am um, marketing and promoting. It's not my product. It's uh, I'm affiliated partner for that product. And it's a business course called million dollar business secrets. Okay. And when I did the search in Google keyword planner, it shows me that there is somewhere between 100 to 1000 average monthly searches competition sometime low there's no more data here because the keyword is doesn't have that much of search volume on enough enough of data to get everything right so what does this mean like uh, this really doesn't really much tell me right if it says uh, between 100 and 1000 it could be 100 and it could be 1000 right or something anything in between 
it's not really specific, but uh, at least it gives us the um, some kind of uh, idea that that this keyword is searchable, that people search for this keyword, right? So and we and in fact, if it's the specific product keyword, which this is, uh, there is always um, a good value in that because people there will be some people searching for that particular product. We can add behind the word, uh, we can add even more words in it, like million dollar business secrets review. And uh, it would even lower down the, our average monthly searches, right? So and this is just for the rough overview of the keywords, right? Because if we uh, type in million dollar business um, ideas, for example, there will be many more searches than uh, million dollar business secrets. Because ma many more people would type in Google million dollar business ideas. Okay. So uh, another way how to find some good, nice keywords is to just to go to Google and basically type it in the search box. So we type in million dollar business secrets in the search box. And here is what it comes up. It, there's a 56 million 900,000 result, right? Which means that this keyword is somewhat valuable and uh, searched for by individuals, right? Otherwise there wouldn't be such a high number of results. And when we go here down, the first uh, result, obviously it's the official website of the creator and owner of the business course. And here we have the section with the videos, right? Some, if you notice some page, sometimes in Google on the first page, Google displays the videos or news, um, like a carousel or whatever. Okay. So here, as you can see, the middle one is my video that I rank for. So million dollar business secrets course review and what to expect. It's my video since May 21st, 2018, and it's pretty much ranking since the, the end of May 2018 on the first page of Google and also in the first searches of YouTube. So this is kind of um, what you can achieve. And of course, this, this this won't be just ranking this video or this website lower here. This is my website and this is my website. These two second spot and the third spot are my website review website and it's not it's it's not just uh, that video uh you can rank the video but you can also rank the websites right on the first page so basically you are claiming more spots on the first page of google which is very powerful because you're basically getting many more hits because there are a certain percentages of hits for each spot on the first page and if someone hits the first spot and he's satisfied with the information, he is not going to go to a second, third or fourth or maybe watch the videos, right? So uh, it's, it's basically that you are already losing. If you're on the second spot and the person goes to the first spot and never comes to back, you, you basically didn't convert anything and nobody even visited your website. But if someone comes to the here and comes to the first website and he's not satisfied, comes back, you still have a chance to get the visit to convert and more spots you will have on the first page, the more chances you get to convert the visitor, right? So uh, this is very powerful way of, of uh, uh, doing the keyword research. Here at the bottom, as you can see, search related, searches related to million dollar business secrets means that uh, these searches are very related, very much related to our main keyword and the people type it as well in the search box. So all these, you would basically uh, copy all these and use them as the secondary keywords, long tail secondary keywords for your uh, project, right? Whatever you're doing, like if it's uh, selling the product or services. Uh, then, in, as I mentioned, you can also do bit extended research for your keywords. So if this is the product million dollar business secrets, we could uh, try to do search for example, million dollar business secrets ideas, which is different keyword, but similar, right? Very much related. And we could find some pretty nice, good keywords here, some low hanging fruit, perhaps like obviously best business ideas. Um, 
it says low competition, but it's not gonna be that low. Uh, this is quite uh, quite good keyword, right? With a lot of searches, average monthly searches, good business ideas as well. So we will try to maybe do a little bit of shuffling around. All right. Sorry, I have to uh, just reload the page because it probably got I had it too long open and didn't use it. Yes, but uh, that's that's kind of uh, how how all almost every marketer and I do the keyword research. Uh, the the will first from the beginning. You definitely want to start with some uh, lower competition long tail keywords because you need to rank as fast as possible from the start right and you are not gonna rank uh, from the start for the keywords that have a big competition or high average monthly searches right that's just not gonna happen Right, so million dollar business ideas. Let's see what it gives us here. Now we want to do a competition. That's a high competition. And here we have some low competition keywords related to million dollar business ideas. Right. 10 best business ideas could be the great one um, and don't be afraid that this has just 10 to 100 monthly searches it's still a valuable keyword for you because it's going to be easy to rank for and if you're going to be on the first page on the first spot and this uh, keyword has 100 searches a month you're going to get good number like 30 40 searches a month on this keyword and it, it's it's highly valuable like you know to get every visit like 30 searches better than no searches so here as we can see here we could get a couple of more good ideas for our keywords and secondary keywords uh, and to, to basically create our SEO campaign and once you are ready you just move on to the next spot and um, we will talk about it in the next video thanks very much for watching and talk later bye bye